Hey everybody, this is Joe, Joe's Preview Firewood, coming to you live on Friday, March 15th, 2024. I'm out here, my bay number two, bay number two storage area. I got a new customer I got to deliver, deliver to. My cousin, he hooked me up with one of his golf buddies and uh, said it, the guy sent me a message and uh, figured out he wanted a half cord, a half cord of JPF for, uh, for his fireplace next uh, winter. So he's doing a, a rare thing that I really appreciate is ordering early and help me out with the drying. Even though this ash is all dry right here and the cherry ready to burn, some of it's, some of it's uh, bundle grade. So I'll be taking the bundle grade pieces and throwing them, throwing them over here. And then uh, you can see where I got some bundle grade stacked right there. You see that? So that's where I'm going to take it. There's Glenn Smallwood. Jeff Wee Rice is here. So I, I just split this uh, oak. I didn't want to have to trouble you with moving everything over here since I'm by myself. And I had to, you know, do it over there. It took me at least at least 20 minutes to get the Joe show set up. I'm by myself. So if Bill Moon's wondering why I don't start on time. It's, you know, Bill needs to come do some more live streams with me so he can see what's all involved. So he'll know why I can't just pick out a time out of the air. So, but it's, uh, like I say, Sundays, Sundays is a different story. Sundays is always 10 a.m. on my other channel. So I got I got to, I want to get this out of the way. Hi Brandy, this is gonna be my uh, first delivery this week. I did have a guy, one of my uh, former co-workers come pick up, come pick up a truckload. I gave him a discount because he brought some uh, some deviled eggs there, Mike Mark uh, Wakeland. Now Bill should be uh, restreaming this to uh, to Facebook, so he'll be commenting with you there. So I can't see your comments on uh, on Facebook, but I can see them here on YouTube. So I better get going because it's gonna take me a minute to get a half cord in here, John Pierce. I gotta, I gotta uh, get, you know, I gotta stack all four rows and then put the last row sideways. It's the only way you can get a half cord in there. I know the haters will say, oh, "Not even a eighth cord." Yeah, it, he's got uh, free range chickens. He also brought me four dozen eggs, and so I had, I've been having scrambled eggs for breakfast. I'm a big egg fan too. So yeah, his wife makes great deviled eggs. Has a little relish in there, a little pickle flavor to it. So splitter should be warmed up. You know, like I say, I just split all this oak. I wanted to give him some oak. That's not ready, but it'll be ready by fall. I'm gonna get you guys here on the tripod and I'm gonna get to work. There we go. Get it so it's locked in here. There, that looks like a Pretty good spot. I think you can see uh, most of the action there. Just get it so it's not so tilted, although I'm looking at it from below. So that should be a pretty good angle. Um, Sunday, Mike's supposed to come over. Mike's gonna come over. We're gonna, he's gonna help me get get down two dangerous, uh, those, those last two hung up uh, black locust trees. We're gonna get them down. And then uh, he's gonna bring summer campfire wood and replace it but like i say sales are slow i did uh, i did go split for uh, the one guy for um dan dan list my, my customer dan he might be watching on youtube right now because he likes rocala and uh he watches on there so i did that and i sold uh i sold some uh Oh, a, a truckload. So I got like three hundred dollars, and I'm gonna get two sixty for this. So, you know, five sixty compared to how I have been doing. You know, one or two trucks a week. I mean, I take what I can get this time of year. I wish more people were ordering early. Put this down so you can see better. I got grab my headphones. I left them on the quad in here. Let me grab them real quick. Brad McGurk's watching. I can uh, I'll put your stick for you, but I want to do it when you're watching. 
I was gonna put Brad's the sticker Brad sent me on there. There we go. That's some cherry. That's about 43 degrees, you know, it's not bad with the sun out. Fingers aren't too cold. You can always uh, warm them up. Warm them up on the uh, on the exhaust. I gotta keep an eye out for bundle grade. We'll throw them over there. As soon as the uh, sales of bundles should be picking up. One thing I noticed on this automatic retract, when you try to, you know, when you try to, if you want to stop it from going all the way back, you got to push extra hard on it. I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of uh, doing these half cords. The guy who lives down near Darren, so it's a long drive, so he's getting as much as he can. So he does actually save money on the delivery fee. He's a golfing, the customer got referred to my cousin, they're, they're golfing buddies. He's got a noon tea time tomorrow, so, you know, it takes me, doing this by myself takes me a couple hours. That's, that's bundle grade. That one is too. So I was just gonna go cut in the woods today, but I'm gonna get loaded, get this all loaded because I gotta be at his house by 11 a.m. tomorrow. I don't wanna have to get up at 8 a.m. to do this. I sure as hell no Bill don't wanna do that, get up and restream. Bill's not a morning person. One time I stopped at Bill's house, unannounced. He's like, yeah, I didn't know you were coming over so early. It was like 10.30. Early? You would have thought it was like 7 a.m. I'm sure Bill remembers that. But I guess, uh, you know, Jody, she, Bill's wife, just had the uh, knee replacement surgery. She's going through physical therapy, you know, PT. She calls it pain and torture. I don't know if any of you have had a knee replacement or had to go through physical therapy. It's not any fun. It does work, but it's a lot of pain. It's something you gotta push through. So we just hope Jody gets all better. You know, Bill being the good husband he is, he's helping her out with her, doing her work too. Here's a piece of hickory that uh, Nate brought me. So I'm gonna split so I got a big pile in there. And we'll come over there and stack it. When Mike and I do this together, we could do it in about 45 minutes. Me by myself hour and a half minimum close to two hours when I got to stop and stack stop and stack but it is what now it's like about quarter after 12 Friday afternoon you know big holiday weekend everybody's a everybody's Irish this weekend right folks here's a piece of ash I'm gonna go out and get me some corned beef and cabbage Anybody like corned beef and cabbage? I'm gonna go get that. Treat myself for something this week, you know. I need to get orders back to five truckloads a week minimum. Then I can pay my bills and stack up on wood and get Mike to keep helping me. 
And Mike's got a uh, bronchitis right now, so that's where he's been playing games with that. But I guess he's feeling better now. So he, he said he'd come over Sunday and help me. And some of these are so perfect. Uh, don't roll down the hill. Almost, Sassafras saved it. I see any type of knot. Like the, you know, some on the inside you can't see. And I'll just go ahead and split it. But when they're perfect circles like this, I wanna, well, see it's got a little bump here. I'm gonna end up throwing them all over there, they're so nice. Nice and solid too. I'm sure there's some haters on Facebook. It's not. Should have plenty of uh, moderators on YouTube to deal with any haters that we may encounter. If I get that that, that third uh, the second row stack, I could pile a bunch here or set a bunch on the tailgate and then stack it split stack at the same time possibly. Cherry ash and oak's a good mix. One of my favorite mixes. All right. Bad thing about them being per circles, they'll, they'll roll forever. Don't have to worry about a knot stopping them. Another piece of uh, hickory. That's my definition of bundle grade. Perfect circle and under like 16 inches in diameter. Just so I can tell it has some knots in it. Started working this morning. I got that. Uh, I got oak, oak split. You're just joining us, you can't see it, but it's in the front row or the, the row that's right next to the cab has uh, has a whole full row of uh, oak split up there. But that, that oak is over there, left over from what Nate brought me. So I split that first and then moved everything over here. This one, this one's definitely not bundle grade. This one's borderline boiler wood. It's full of knots. Let's see what I can do. Keep them nice and straight. That's paying me top dollar. As it should for this quality. Anybody going to any St. Patrick's Day parades? I don't know, maybe, I know Paul Wagner, I think he's going to downtown Chicago for, the, for their annual parade. I got some good pieces out of it, but not the straightest. I made it work. I wanted to get a 
Get a good mix. Cherry ash and oak. This cherry looks pretty nice. There's a piece of elm. That gives a little bit of variety. Just want to get this, that sold, and this sold. And then I want to refill, try to refill this whole thing up. But I can't refill it until I get this and that out of the way it's sold. Got the single wedge back on after uh, Dan and I used it on Monday and the customer at his house, he's got it all stacked. I cleaning up all the debris. He might be watching right now talking to his buddy Rogala. fire going today. Had one yesterday too. I let it go out early because it did get up in the 60s. It rained most of the day yesterday. Now they're talking snow on Sunday and Monday. Getting to the point where I need to get over there and take a time out and snag it. Oh, normal. Norm's watching. Supposed to meet him for uh, corned beef and cabbage tomorrow night, but I don't, I don't think he likes it. I think he's just going to get a well done olive burger, maybe mushroom burger. Those are his two favorites. I probably, you know, I knew there's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of bundle grade rounds. Thought about putting a wheelbarrow there and then wheelbarrow them around, but there's so many of them. I'm just going to throw them over there. Yeah, I got to pick them up again, but it is what it is. Somebody to throw these, it goes a lot faster. 
Norma's even coming, talking about coming out here, meeting me for breakfast and being my thrower. live this message for you Zuck that's Mark Zuckerberg because we are live on your platform hopefully it's just for a month so that means I like by uh, March 25th I should be able to go live again without bills of faster with the four-way, but a lot less debris, a lot less rejects. And with one person, there's no way I, I can keep up. You know, I can keep up, but it'd be like split, throw, 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 split, throw, 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 throw. Now it's split, throw, split, throw. Made some bundles the other day too, and I I got 30 of them made. I don't know if you can see them or not. This is full of little knots. Back on that side first. Might take a peek, see how many are watching. If you're watching, Brad, let me know. I'll put your sticker on for you. The fellowship sticker. Let's see if I can get back behind here. Yeah, we got 31 watching. Can't see the lights likes because the uh, tripod's in the way. this stack I should be able to see uh, such a pain in the butt to do it this way by yourself but I don't have no money to pay Mike so I didn't really get him here to help me or Zach Zach might be working I don't know
should be able to see this oak up here now. If I'm gonna get it, if I'm gonna offer half cords, I gotta stack it. Can't get them in, can't get it in any other way. To, you know, I have to go from side to side. That's the other pain in the butt about it. Yeah. Right, let me go. Go over there. Go over there and get the side stack. Squeeze through here, I hope. Uh, gotta push the tailgate up. Can't push it up with these pieces here. Too tight a fit here. I try to throw too much in here so I don't have to make as many trips doing this and then they the pieces get in my way yeah that, I, that's why I charge extra for this too I'm charging 200 bucks just for the wood because I have to spend this extra time Spend this extra time stacking it. I'd use the trailer, you know, I could get it in the trail, a half quarter in the trailer by throwing a heap load. But of course that's full. Some wood that I bought from Phil a couple weeks ago. I tell him Phil, you know, supply and demand, bud. Now he wants me to keep buying from him every week, but nobody's buying from me. I don't have no need to buy from my suppliers. I mean, that's just the fact, Jack. Log cabin firewood if you're watching. Oh, I gotta go on the other side and get those out of the way because I can't reach them from this side. Back to the other side. Uh. I just don't want to split 20 pieces, stop and do this, stop and do it, but I also don't want to have to move all these pieces around so I can get them packed in there tight. That's going to have to work. Get them as tight as I can. Do the best I can, folks. You watching, Randy Clay? Am I supposed to do better than the best of my best? I think not. I 
best is my best and that's it. Now obviously since this the one's up against the window I can go higher the headache rack that Daryl bought me. I can't go as high. These rows aren't as high. I guarantee it's still half cord. And uh, the customer stacks it in a single row and takes a picture of it. I can prove it to you. Prove it to all my doubters. All the haters and doubters out there. There's a lot of them out there, folks. I've got nothing better to do than hate my guts. All right, back to the other side. Should be able to finish out this row. Premium wood, ash, cherry, oak, elm, hickory. Now you see why I didn't record me doing the oak at the beginning. I mean, that took me about 40, 45 minutes itself. Then having to move over here, that took like t over 20 minutes. Getting everything set up. Just think if I had to deal with m moving the camera every time. Oh, I know that's my job, cameraman, but that's usually when I have somebody else here, paying somebody else to do the work. Take a union break, Billy Otis. I'm gonna have to take a union break here. Have to start that next row. I gotta put a few more on the other side. Go back over there, and then I think I'm gonna take my drinks in the truck. Grab that. Take a swig out of that. This is a lot of weight for my truck, half cord, especially with that oak in the front. That's why I didn't want, I, I had more, over, more oak over there to split, but it, this is for the guy's fireplace. He's not heating his house. go there we go folks making some progress now I probably could put a few more in that other row we'll see I'm gonna now I'm gonna put the tailgate down throw onto there let me grab my drink grab my drink I'll readjust the camera got grape today got grape today where you were. They don't step on you. 
Gut watch now. We got 39 watching. Hit that thumbs up. Hit it. Smash it. Do what you got to do. Comment. Share. Like. Subscribe. But I will be relieved when this is done. And then I'll sleep well tonight, knowing that I can leave at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Get out of the store. Get down there by 11 a.m. like I told him. Got a noon tea time. Hopefully he helps me unload it. But if he doesn't, oh well. Just gonna get thrown out. Definitely bundle grade. Put it over in my bundle stash. This one, it looks like there's some uh, buried uh, knots. Not too bad. Probably can make it, all these work, most of them. Right? But I also got or disorder to fill. So, there's a knot I was talking about. Dropping some old videos lately. Some of them only have like five, six hundred views, so don't tell me you've seen every video I posted. I'm talking about on Facebook. There's some classics in there. There's some real good ones coming out Sunday. If those Zuck don't want to share them with you, you might have to go to the page and scroll down the, the news feed and check them out. Well, those Zuck won't share them with you. If you, you know, if you follow the page, like I got, you know, almost 49,000 followers on Facebook. But everybody said, oh, how come you never make new videos? I'm like, I do every day. How come Zuck ain't sharing them with you? Zuck don't like me. Zuck's locked me up for over two years in Facebook jail. Now I'm on probation for who knows what? A restricted, or whatever you want to call it, restricted account. So I got Bill doing this for me. Bill's a busy man. Oh, 
Bill's sending me a package. I got a notice from UPS that'll be delivered this afternoon. But I think on Sunday's video, Sunday's live stream, 10 a.m. We'll do a, we'll do an unboxing of that. I think he sent a bunch of stickers to thank for Mike, but he sent me some stuff too. We'll just have to see what he can do at backspingraphics.com. Check them out, folks. Pico better than salsa. I have some vegetable beef soup for lunch. Had a shamrock shake the other day, folks. Mickey D's, that time of year. St. Patrick's Day. Well, oh, they paint, they uh, dye the uh, Chicago River green. I think old Paul Wagner's gonna go check that out. I think he's coming to South Haven. Once it gets real hot, I'm gonna be done cutting. So I got plenty of splitting to do. So basically you're gonna be seeing splitting videos all summer. For some reason during the summertime, it, the live streams don't work very well here. The signal dies. Plus, I'm using an iPhone 10. And I got January 2019. It's pretty darn old for a cell phone nowadays. Bundle day when it rolls that far. I think maybe you could see it behind me. yet where Ted modified it. I've been uh, you know, using the quad trailer to go cut out in the neighbor's woods. Got to get that, get that all cleared up before he sells it. Probably about two or three more cords back there. I think I got almost two cords out. Maybe five face cord. I guess it's somewhere around there. And the guy that wants it, I finally got a hold of him. I wanted to do, do uh, split that and deliver that to him today. But uh, he said he doesn't want it till like next Thursday or Friday. So 
I'm gonna have to make that work for me. Now I think I better get over there and stack it here in a second. Cousin, my cousin hooked me up with the sale, so I do appreciate that. Joe, if you're watching, I appreciate it, buddy. I sent him a message on Facebook, but he hasn't seen it. He hasn't seen it yet. Customer, he has an accent. I think it's from uh, either Australia or New Zealand. He lives a few miles from where Darren lives. Dangerous Darren. Get pretty high in there. I got a better stack. Better stack it. After one, I think it's all probably down. Take a union break. I might jerk this whole thing up today. Yeah. All right. I think you can see this. Can't see where I'm stacking, but I think you get the picture. Watch me stack this row already. I guarantee you, though, this is a half cord. Guarantee. If you don't believe me? I know uh, Ohio wood burner. He's made videos on it. So is uh, uh, Chris in the wood yard. You know, if you don't believe me? Well, we believe them guys. You guys are the big pros. guys are the real deal. They don't play games. Me, yeah, I've only sold about, I don't know, 2,000 full cords in my lifetime. So yeah, I probably don't know how much can fit in my truck. Three, four thousand deliveries. Reach it now. So I don't have to throw it as far, so it should be bounce. Shouldn't bounce too bad. Out of place. All 
Remember these back rows, I don't go as high. High as the front two. And this stuff is cut pretty uniform. I would say the average length is probably about 15 inches. I'll get three solid rows. Four solid rows and then, then we'll go sideways on this last little bit by the tailgate. Definitely would like somebody to help me with these. Whenever I do them, but it was kind of short notice. I didn't do it till last night. I don't have money to pay Mike. Don't help me. In fact, when he comes on Sunday, it's going to be uh, IOU. But it's like money in the bank, you know. I can only store so much here. It's it expensive storing all this. You may have to constantly buy the logs so I'm, you know, finally in a good enough health to uh, go run a saw by myself again. All right, let's go back over there. We'll do a bunch. We'll do a bunch, fill up do that, those two rows, and then we'll shut the tailgate, and then I'll set a bunch here, on here, and I'll walk over there split and stack them in there sideways. Hope everybody's enjoying the time watching me and having good conversations with each other. A lot of you get to know each other, regulars. A lot of regulars. I'll have a little time in the morning. I'll go around and gather all those that bundle wood and put bundle rounds and put them over there for stacking later. I got to leave here by 10. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I won't have time. But at least I don't have to do this in the morning. Rounds ain't going nowhere, folks. They're not gonna roll down the hill now. 
There's a, about 10 of them over there right now. I don't have to move very far. Quite a few right there. That's pretty much perfect. This one, this one I might have to boil it away. This is not right here, plus it's elm. Yeah, I'm going to try it. I'm just going to boil it with it. Just throw it. Look down here for now. Team Orange and Blue, that's where I got the orange hat on. Back to graphics made me. And blue hoodie. I had this made before I started dealing with Baxter graphics. I think it was in 2012 I had this made. In 2013, Bill took over everything. He's made me a few shirts and hoodies, hats over the over the years. Pick them up off the ground again. Just picking them up off here should be enough. Split this and one more piece of ash. And then I'm gonna stack.
break. I think I'll top it off with Elm. Go. Oh. Since this stuff is cut under 16 inches, you know, I'm guessing, you know, 15 or 14 and a half average, it'll make a stack. And when Devin stacks it, it's going to make a stack, or Colin, that's his name, new customer's name is Colin. Colin stacks it, it, uh, it'll probably be about close to 13 feet long. If any haters are watching, they probably got that this that statement probably got their uh, bloomers in a bunch. Even though I gotta shut the tailgate to put this last row in, I'll get this stack, I'll put maybe about half on the tailgate, and then I think I'll just try to play basketball and throw them in there. Split smell. There we go. Get some wood in here now. Truck's not liking me. that plate and go, goes in any direction you're not expecting. Pieces in here. And I know they uh, they need some time to dry, but thankfully this guy this order going for next winter. Nice to find people that can prepare to get ahead. I, I'll, I'll store as much as I can afford, what, as much as I can, if I can fit here. I'm not going to fill the whole property up. That's not going to happen. I've already told you why that's not going to happen. A warehouse, not Amazon. Up, for the, up to the customer to order early or hope that I can go out and my, my guys can go out and find stuff like this. It's ready to burn. But, you know, it, it probably wouldn't hurt to sit for a few months like this.
see if I can get this stump piece out. Put that. You know what? I might wait. Actually, I think I'll wait and come onto this side. Put that big stump piece out. Get a ton of wood off that. So I'm gonna clear the way to it so I can grab this. Light. Because when it's, you know, down by the ground, it still holds a lot of water, a lot of water, moisture, whatever. Never split gum, but people tell me that's hard to split. Now this video is probably over an hour long. For that row. Get one more. Now we'll put this stuff sideways. Back there in tight, folks. Let's go get this little area. I have a half cord in there. Oh, I hope I can pick that piece up. Nate probably could split it with the with the maul because it's elm. Split one of my back to you. I'm gonna get a lot of pieces off this. Really, uh, messing with the camera. You can see.
had a blood clot she had a little emergency room so she has her, her health issues so we hope she's doing well Bill's wife Jody she had a knee replacement like this folks. I think it's supposed to rain. Maybe, I think I'll just cover up the splitter, just leave it out here for now. I don't know where I'm gonna need it next. Mike's coming Sunday to live stream with me on my other channel, as far as YouTube goes. Bill should be able to read this to Facebook as well. Half of this area is full. I think if I grab them two big ones, and uh, well, they're not big, but they're not small either. Not like the one I just split. Grab these two. do it I would hope. I would hope. Truck's doing about a wheelie right now folks. Probably got a good 15, 1800 pounds in there. A half ton. Definitely be enough.
Yeah, this feels like this is <laughs> hopefully the battery didn't die like it did the other day when I was over at Dan's house. Feels like about an hour and a half long. Hey, just because it's Friday holiday weekend and uh, we got some computer stuff to do. Old video schedule so you can watch them. Even though, it, you know, you say you've seen them all, check them out on Facebook. Usually do one at 1.30 and one at 6, but I think I got three scheduled a day. So the one at 1.30 should be posted pretty soon because I know it's got to be about that time. Here we go. That's it. Yeah, of course. Half cord on there, folks. All right. Let's see. We'll show you. We'll show you what we got, folks. It's like a half cord to me. Half cord to me. Oh, got one more. There you go. Hey, hey folks. Hey, Lemme. Half court, right? Look at that Chevy. Look at that. See, she's squatting. She's squatting, folks. That look good, Mark. What do you think, Fat Daddy? Think that looks good, Chuck? What do you think? What do you think? This is all oak. This whole front row is 100% oak. Then you got cherry and uh, elm, ash. There's some hickory in there. All stacked in there, packed in tight, nice and snug, all the way to the back. You got six and a half feet long. That front row is probably over three foot tall, probably three and a half foot tall in the front. You know, these are probably about two and a half feet tall. So. See, we took it, put a dent in this, Stacy. See, I threw threw these over here. I don't know if you could see these rolling down the hill, but the sassafras stopped it. I was gonna go through and uh, cut all these off. I would have hate from to roll down the hill, Colleen. But look at that. This ain't no Frank's mid grade. They ain't no Frank's mid grade. This is bundle grade. Look at that. That's where I'm putting them. So once I sell all this and then fill it back up, then I'm gonna split it and put rows here and then, I, then have my bundle station going. You can see I got, got 30 ready to rock and roll and head out, ship out. And I got all this elm left to split. There's a little bit of ash in here, but mostly elm, but you know, I'll, I'll mix this elm in with some of that stuff when I do it. I think I need to, yeah, it's a heavy load, Billy Otis. I'm gonna have to take a union break, so. All right, folks, I'm going to clean up here, put some stuff away, go in and have some uh, vegetable beef soup and some uh, chips and pico and work on the computer, get things done. So won't be going live tomorrow because i got to do an early morning delivery. Then I'm going to go get some corned beef and cabbage, celebrate St. Patrick's Day tomorrow, even though that's Sunday. We, we go on live Sunday. and Unfortunately, I don't have any green hoodies, but I'm not very fond of that color, so... Thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks, Lendy, for the uh, for the super chat, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.